Cold War Motors. Sick cars for a sick planet. I finally got my sticker. If you guys don't watch Cold War Motors, you need to go to their YouTube channel and see what these guys are doing. Anyway, Rick here this morning. Well, today is a, a typical cold February day. And normally what we do this time of year in February is brew beer. So, uh, got some buddies coming down and maybe their wives and we'll, we'll see who all shows up. But the plan is to fill all of these up with wort and pitch some yeast to it so we'll have beer for all year. So, anyway. I will try to show you, because um, we're going to brew actually out here, poolside at 27 degrees. So we'll see how that works out. But anyway, I'll try to have uh, some footage off and on today, and uh, we'll show you how that all gets done. So, all right. In the meantime, Go check out Fraggers on Cold War Motors. Cool. All right, we got the smoker going here. <laughs> it's cold out here today, so you can see it ain't coming up on temperature yet. But it will. We're getting ready to light this thing off so we can get some water boiling. Uh, plan is to make a whole bunch of beer today. Kent's got his smoker going over here. He's going to smoke some oats on this, which I've got that copper thing laying in there. We'll get out when you're ready. Yeah, he's got some... What kind of wood chips you got down in there? I think those are hickory. Hickory, okay. That ought to be interesting. That ought to give it a smoked flavor. Uh, yeah. It's very smoky. It doesn't It doesn't get very hot, but it Well, you just want to nice. get that smoke onto that, yep. onto the oats, so, okay. And uh, this may be real sketchy today with all kinds of stuff going on, so just bear with us. We're going to get some more stuff set up, and we'll show you more here in a minute. What's this? Okay. Let's get the... Uh, What's do what? What's that? Same. That is corn. No, yeah, sand. Same, the same as that? Uh, it's the same as that. We're making two batches okay. of this Bach beer. What we did was we went in and we got two uh, yeast starters going, which is basically we took the yeast that came with the kit, put it in some warm water with some sugar, and it's in there staying in the house nice and warm so it'll okay. double because we want that to already start working before we dump it into what we're getting ready to do. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to boil about a gallon or so of water okay and we're going to dump that into our bucket okay along with uh oh that's not good yeah, Dig, were you filming is it still filming no it's got a black screen now 
Okay. Well, it says it's uh, recording. I guess the wind blew it off, so. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here with that thing. How's that? Ooh. Quipod. Quipod. There we go. Okay. Yeah, uh, well, while we're talking about what's going on over here, we didn't, you got, this got going before you guys got here, so. Kent's got his smoker going over here because he's going to make a smoked apple beer. Oh, cool. So we're smoking this, these oats, and then we're going to boil that oat with some apple flavoring that he bought in the wart. Fifteen minutes, and then we'll strain all that out. Oh, cool. And uh, so it'll be a. We're going to do a full boil here on a right. on a beer. But this is this extract kit is just kind of a quick thing. So okay. So that's what's going on there. So providing that doesn't oh, fall over again. So. <laughs> all right. So what we're going to do? We're going to boil this. We're going to open up. This is in some hot water to loosen it up. We're going to cut the top off of that. Pour it into there, pour this boiling water in on it, and we're going to stir it with... I think I got my ladle over there. Okay. Uh, Maybe. Should be. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, if you want, stick that in one of them bats so it'll get okay. kind of cleaned up. Uh, and let me see if we can get this going. <laughs> it's, there it is. Uh, <laughs> I'll get in here. Yeah, <laughs> and I don't know who this is. That was mine. Okay, let me. I, where's mine? There we go. And uh, there's somebody else is there if you want it. If you don't, you can pitch it and you can get something different. So you poured this for me? Yep. Yep. I drank mine. What is this? Yeah. Yeah. What, am I, what am I drinking? It was good. That it's, is. It's, uh, it's, it's a. Really it's a good. sour beer. It's, it's pretty tasty. Oh, is it? Yeah. This is corn one. Or that, that, this is beer. This is the corn. Okay. This one here is corn. If you're drinking it, thinking you're drinking a beer. Yeah, we're starting out kind then, of. Then I get kind of. Then I'm like, no, that's disgusting. Because when I drink it, thinking it's a wine. No, that is. Uh, it's all It's all perception. <laughs> it's like a dry wine. Yeah, I've, I've had some of this. Well, I'll tell you, this one here, um, my friend Gervis over in Burton, his grandfather used to make used to make corn wine or corn beer or something, and he couldn't remember as a kid exactly how he did it, but he tried to come up with it, and so him and I tried to figure it out, and we had a brew contest a few years ago at the Old Time Settlement Festival downtown. So him and I went down there with some other guys to brew old world kind of things that people would have done back in the 1800s. And so this is what him and I did, and that's what we came up with. It did not, uh, did not win. No, it didn't win anything, but that's okay. I thought one for you, you need flavor. Well, that was this one. Okay. Yeah. And these are my cool antique bottles. The labels are still on my, I mean, I, Gingerly wash these. Gingerly is a word he has had. Wisconsin Club light beer. My dad uh, told me to, uh, when I borrowed his car, he said, shift it gingerly. It had a three speed on the three. Three speed yeah. on the uh, I get the car and I go, pull, <laughs> pull the shifter right just off. Just broke it right off. Because that wasn't ginger. Ginger means to go Because it was just hanging there. I thought I heard the thread, basically. Okay, well, we're out here in this 24 degree weather and uh, Cody's trying to keep the fire going. So anyway, we got one, one five gallon batch made, so we're getting ready for the second one. Right now, uh, people are partaking <laughs> in samples. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna fill this up in a minute. What's the matter, Gunner? Hmm? Hi, Tallulah. Are you guys helping brew beer? Hmm? Your old tail's a wagon. You probably need... We should have got you a hamburger. 
<laughs> yeah, it was pretty, pretty. Okay, so what's the consensus? What are we doing? We're doing an apple bacon. What'd you say? Beer? Now? No, I know. I don't. Oh, we, I don't. Yeah, we we want to we want to do <laughs> we want to do bacon. that, but okay. Well, now I think we're just gonna make a we're making a log. Yeah, but it's gonna have a lot of hop in it, so. I guess it'll be an IPA lager, which doesn't exist, so we just do things different, so it doesn't really matter. But we got to get some water boiling first. <laughs> All right. And the dogs are... We just had supper, and you guys didn't have any, did you? Four things. All right. Show you more. All right. Take that lid. Let's take that lid off there. Yeah, them hops are beginning to come up to the top, so that's cool. Oh, yeah. Boy, that does smell good. All right, cool. Kent's filling up the things over here so we can... Uh, I do a very good job, though. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get them sanitized. He just bought a new carboy there, or a couple of them, so... <sighs> All right. Sanitize them at the same time. What's that? Oh, Put yeah. up in the top and... Yeah, you're going to want to sanitize that, too, so... Oh, I guess we need to get some wood on the fire. I believe the fire's about out over there. <laughs> Not that it's really keeping it too warm, but at least it's a place to warm up to. Oh yeah, how's that doing? They're not getting super dark. Yeah, they're, there's the color they are. They're getting pretty good. Think so? Boy, they smell good. I'm going to taste one. Here, taste one. Is it good? Yeah. It's very smoky. It tastes like uh, oatmeal that's smoky. Mm. <laughs> kind of cool. Yep, it's it smoking it up? Not as smoky as it was. Yeah. May have to put some more chips in there. We did that once before, yeah. I wonder if it'll if they'll hold any more smoke though. They may not. They're they're looking pretty brown. Boy, they definitely have got it. They did. So I can Very really smoky. taste it. I don't know if I'd put any more in there or not. I think we'll just leave leave it. At, when I first put them in there, I was like, it, you could tell it, but now it's when got it, that. It gets kind of bitter, doesn't it? Or did it? I don't know about no. that. You but think bitter? No. Okay. It's just really smoky though. Okay, let's turn her down a little bit. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I just want to simmer it like that for a little bit. That'll work. That's that's alcohol abuse there, all that beer on the ground. So this is different now. We got hops or something. Yeah, we put a hop in there and uh, I put some gypsum in there. Got our wart. Sounds good. Or put the malt in. It does smell good. Yeah, it smells very beery. All right. Well, we'll show you when we start transferring you this. You can't uh, transfer the smell to the camera. to the camera. <laughs> no, this is not smell. Well, you developed that technology. Smell this smell is not smell -o vision <laughs> Like a lab coat. Oh, an apron. Well, we can do a cut on the film. Uh, we can, and you can go put that on if you want. I like Walter White out here. So what we're going to do is we're going to transfer each one of these carboys half full, and then we're going to fill it up with water, get it down to temperature, and add the yeast to it. And on these two, about two days before I bottle it, after it's already worked down, I'll put that cascade hop and do a dry hop on it. We'll, I've got a baggy thing I'll stick in there and just let the hops naturally kind of flavor the beer. And should work good. It certainly smells good. It does smell like beer. And there's the stuff we caught. That's the hops we caught with the strainer. So. Anyway. Yeah, I'm sure we're going to have all kinds of people commenting on this video saying that's not how you make beer, so <laughs> that's all right. You don't have to drink it. So. <laughs> What's this guy's name? Oh, Coulter Wall. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
way too easier than saying, you're going to be like, wow. <laughs> edit that for sure off of YouTube. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well this is the last batch. This is a oatmeal, uh, smoked oatmeal apple. Apple. There we go. Smoked oatmeal apple. Smoked apple. <laughs> Gunner says everybody's already left today and you haven't fed me yet. Well, I didn't get uh, a picture of Kent and Betty leaving with uh, their beer, but I'll show you what we got here. So, so we've got a Bach beer. So that's what five gallons of that. And we got a wheat beer. So we got five gallons of that. And then we did a 10 gallon brew. I don't know if I filmed this one or not. I can't remember, but. Uh, wound up with a hoppy hoppy IPA and a hoppy IPA so I still gotta pitch the yeast of these but uh, I wanna get that cooled down some yet and then this back here is my uh, wine that I've been working on it is a premier classic yeast and uh, it's a uh, great with just a little bit of blackberry in it so anyway got plenty of that that'll last a year or so and uh, all right well hope you enjoyed the video I'll try to get some footage of bottling it up you've seen me bottle beer before so it's not like we have to do that but anyway yeah everybody enjoy the winter bye Run to Lula, run! Hi, baby!